Bill Browder, Red Notice, a true story of high finance, murder, and one man's fight for justice. Embark on a thrilling journey through high-stakes finance, political machinations, and one man's quest for justice in Red Notice, a true story of high finance, murder, and one man's fight for justice by Bill Browder. This summary reveals the astonishing story of a man who leveraged his financial prowess to uncover corruption and greed in post-Soviet Russia. Be prepared to dive into the murky world of Russian privatization, the rise and fall of oligarchs, and the harsh realities of living in a country where corruption and risks seemingly lurk around every corner. Browder's bravery, persistence, and commitment to the cause of justice make this a gripping and inspiring read. From Communism to Capitalism Bill Browder, an ex-Salomon investment banker, spotted a gap in the Russian market to invest before others. He became an unlikely hedge fund manager, investing in oil, energy, and the phone business. Russia was monitoring its property, and without a stock market, there were many loopholes for insiders to manipulate the system. Browder's firm invested $25 million in Russia, multiplying its value five times. However, he soon grew disillusioned with his work and left to set up a hedge fund in Moscow. Despite not speaking Russian, he managed to set up shop, and his hermitage fund was quickly taken up by billionaire investors. Challenging Oligarchs in Russia Bill Browder, an American businessman, challenged the corrupt practices of Russia's oligarchs using his muckraking approach. He invested in an oil company with preferred shares that paid hefty dividends and common shares that paid none, and the Hermitage Fund gained significantly during the 1996 presidential election. Browder also took an $11 million stake in an oil company called Sedanko, which he calculated was cheaper than investments in BP or Luke Oil. However, Sedanko's billionaire owner, Vladimir Potanin, double-crossed him by diluting its shares, and Browder challenged him. As a result, Browder received threats to his life and moved to London to be with his son. The Hermitage Fund had huge returns in 1997, but the Asian financial crisis caused its value to plummet by 90%. The crash changed the game for oligarchs, producing a massive wealth gap in Russia. The Rise and Fall of Hermitage Fund Browder's investigation into Gazprom's corrupt activities and subsequent fallout with Putin resulted in the rise and fall of the Hermitage Fund in Russia. Bill Browder, a hedge fund manager, exposed Gazprom's fraudulent sell-off of gas fields at massive discounts, resulting in the removal of their CEO. Afterward, the new CEO set out to recover stolen assets, which set Gazprom's shares soaring and made it Hermitage Fund's most profitable investment, and encouraged Browder to investigate other corrupt companies. Putin supported Browder's investigation but later arrested the CEO of oil firm Yukos, which initiated a divide between Putin and Browder. In 2005, Russian officials detained and expelled Browder from Moscow, citing him as a national security threat, causing him to liquidate his $4.5 billion fund and relocate his employees out of Russia. The aftermath of the situation saw Russian officials launch criminal investigations on Browder's operations, forcing him to launch the Hermitage Global Fund in 2006 for other emerging markets. Russian government target, Bill Browder after discovering that companies he previously owned were stolen and used to fraudulently claim a tax refund, Bill Browder embarked on a mission to uncover the truth. His investigation led him to track the money trail to the southern burg of Novichokosk, then to Moscow's Kimki suburb where the three firms received the largest tax refund in Russian history, amounting to $230 million. Browder relayed his findings to the New York Times and discussed them on an independent radio show in Russia. Despite the absence of arrests, Browder's enemies attempted to silence him by demanding that Hermitage's Russian attorney report to the police for questioning and threatening to take him by force. Due to his well-placed friends, the attorney was informed that his life was in danger, which compelled him to hide for weeks before escaping the country. Browder's experiences revealed the ruthless nature of the Russian government and the potential dangers of going against it. Magnitsky's Brave Stand Sergei Magnitsky, a young lawyer, 
discovered a tax fraud scheme in Russia and accused two officials involved in it, but he was imprisoned instead of being protected by the justice system for doing the right thing. He suffered in squalid cells with rats and denied medical treatment, yet he stood his ground instead of recanting his accusations against the officials. Bill Browder, a businessman and Magnitsky's employer, tried to rescue him but was unsuccessful, and Russian journalists were too afraid to report on his case. Magnitsky's story highlights the corruption and injustice in Russia's legal system and the bravery of those who challenge it. Justice for Magnitsky In 2009, Russia indicted lawyer Sergei Magnitsky and his client Bill Browder. Magnitsky died in prison while awaiting trial, and Browder vowed to bring the perpetrators to justice. Through lobbying efforts, Senator Ben Cardin asked the U.S. State Department to revoke visas of those involved in Magnitsky's death, and Browder's testimony led to a bill co-sponsored by Senator John McCain. Browder exposed the corruption of officials Kuznetsov and Karpov, who had amassed fortunes beyond their government salaries through illegal means. The Magnitsky Act and Browder's Quest for Justice the story of how the death of a Russian lawyer led to the formation of a law that sanctions human rights abusers, and the ensuing battle between Russia and an American financier. Billionaire financier Bill Browder's lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky, was murdered in a Russian prison cell in 2009 when he tried to expose a $230 million fraud by Russian officials. The Magnitsky Act was introduced in the U.S. Congress to punish the 60 Russians responsible for Magnitsky's fate, denying them visas and freezing their assets. The law expanded to include human rights abusers in general. The U.S. government initially hesitated to pass the bill, but Browder launched a campaign to get it passed. When Russia was about to enter the World Trade Organization, American businesses sought to repeal Cold War sanctions against it to sell tractors and beef. Senator Joe Lieberman blocked the repeal until the Magnitsky Act passed. The bill continued to go through Congress. Russian officials lobbied against the bill and went to great lengths to discredit Browder, filing a libel suit against him in London and targeting him with a red notice. Russia retaliated against the Magnitsky Act by banning Americans from adopting Russian orphans and launching a trial against Browder, in which officials accused him of tax fraud, among other crimes. British authorities refused to extradite him to Russia. The Magnitsky Act became a living symbol of the clash between good and evil, justice and corruption. It showed that a single man can stand up to a powerful state, and inspired others doing the same. The law was adopted by other countries, such as Canada, the UK, and the EU, and it has become an established human rights tool worldwide. Bill Browder's Red Notice offers readers an exhilarating insider's view into a world of high finance, murder, and one man's relentless pursuit of justice. Exposing the dark underbelly of Russia's privatization and oligarchy system, Browder's work as a financier and political activist fought against corruption and brought attention to the tragic story of Sergei Magnitsky. Amidst the dangers and political intrigue, Browder's courage and determination shine through, proving that one individual can indeed make a difference. Red Notice is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of standing up for justice and truth, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds.